My name is Brandon Lennon. I'm a fossil hunter along the Jurassic coast. I found some interesting curiosities east of Lyme Regis on the 2008 landslide, which includes part of an old Victorian bottle dump. Well, I'm off fossil hunting at Lyme Regis today, the end of January, the last day of January, and uh, already here at Lyme Regis, just eroding away there in the river. The sea has got to it, and obviously the river has eroded it too, here in Lyme Regis. A little gastropod fossil find right in front of the museum here as I head out along the Jurassic coast on the low tide. I'm heading out on a fossil walk today and I've also brought a particularly good find that I made from the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide and it's almost unbelievable that this piece of Dalton pottery I'll show you remained intact all the way down the mudslides it came down onto the beach and then was eroded out by the sea's actions so follow me as I head down towards the Jurassic coast and do some fossil collecting now. I've got the sieves and shovels to do a bit of work with on the beach to find the fossils today, the pyrite ammonites in particular, and I'll try and show you some of the right rocks to break, the ones that have calcite ammonites in that are preserved in the limestone, layered rocks, and I'll show you how to find these as we head down along this stretch of the coastline at low tide. The old Victorian bottle dump. What a mixture of material you find on the 2008 slip where the old Victorian bottle dump is coming washing down out to sea. All the time when you come out, you'll find all these oddments, all these curiosities. Someone's had a right old play around here. What good fun. There's the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide, how far it came out to sea. Three quarters of a million tonnes arriving on the beach in just 40 minutes, bringing all these different fossils down onto the beach and the old Victorian bottle dump arrived too with some fascinating finds. Well, here's a little pocket of iron pyrites, the fool's gold on the beach. It's heavy. The ammonites that are preserved in fool's gold are heavy. So I'm going to dig some of this up with my shovel and uh, put the fool's gold the sort of uh, sandy material on the beach with the iron pyrites in. You can take the big pieces away out of your sieve, they don't mean anything. You can see that's not an ammonite, but it's this sort of concentration of material that you want to have a really good look at for the fossil finds. And uh, heat your sieve right up, the more material the merrier. See, I'm just taking out these big globs of iron pyrites, the fool's gold. And uh, hopefully in this amount of stuff, by taking it down to the water's edge and then sieving through it, there should be quite a nice little ammonite in there or some part of an ammonite even, or even a piece of crinoid, a sea lily stem. And uh, as long as you don't dig in the cliffs and sit, you're allowed to take the fossils that wash out along the shoreline, the sea doing the work for you. And uh, there is a fossil collecting code of conduct along this uh, stretch of the coastline, along the Jurassic Coast. And uh, also too, you must be aware of the dangerous cliffs, they're liable to fall suddenly without warning. And uh, very much be concerned about the tide. I come out on the low tide looking for the fossils and see what the sea's washed out. And uh, when you're doing the hammering, bring some protective eyewear. So let's take this down to the water's edge, give that a really good sieve, and uh, we'll see what's in there and I'll show you. So here I am down at the water's edge. Let's give that a bit of a, a shake. Here we go with the sieving today. Get right down to the hard, heavy iron pyrites material. Give that a good uh, scoop through with my uh, hands. Cold hands today, ah, there we go. Ammonite preserved there in the fool's gold. Iron pyrites, you can see. Noticed this rock earlier, and uh, it's got quite a few impressions on the outside of ammonites. To give the game away, there might be some more inside that particular rock. You see some fossil wood protruding out of the edge there. It seems to have some uh, growth rings in that specimen. Right rock, I'm not using a huge hammer today. Give it a 
sharp crack with the hammer. That's induced a bit of a crack through the rock. Let's lift this stone apart. Oh, it's really falling apart. Isn't that lovely wood? Look at that. Some really nice fossil wood there. And uh, quite a nice ammonite too. On the outer edge, you can see one I can prepare there with the fossil wood. There's some fossilized wood again. There's fossilized wood all over this area from the monkey puzzle tree. Absolutely loads of it in all the rocks. I'll wet that and uh, you see the structure there of the wood come up. It's just roading away. The sea's actions will take that. Well, to me, a really spectacular find I made along the Jurassic coast was this little Dalton egg pot here. It uh, came down in the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide and ended up on the beach. Uh, it's just a remarkable find, I think. And so uh, not always fossils I'm looking for. I do like finding material from the old Victorian bottle dump as I walk down along the beach at low tide. So uh, that I've treasured and uh, I'll keep that for a, a very long, long time. I just like looking back at it and thinking, God, what a long journey it's had. And uh, there are tales in Lyme Regis of old ladies that uh, died and uh, let up all their goods and had no one to hand them on to, all their belongings, and uh, they ended up in the Victorian bottle dump and then uh, been recycled onto the beach. And uh, I've got here too, uh, it's a bit of recycling uh, today, uh, a uh, plastic, bit of plastic. I always get up all the plastic stuff that I find and we'll throw that around in the garden. Bit of fun doing a bit of uh, spinning with that. And then uh, some of my kit here that I've got, not a very big hammer today. You just need to have a bit of a chip at some of the fossil bearing rocks to see if there's anything in them uh, in terms of uh, developing the rocks and taking them back. Like that little ammonite I found earlier, I'll develop that. And uh, this little hickory handled hammer absorbs the vibrations well when you do a bit of tapping. And uh, it's good usually to have eyeglasses on, protective wear when you're tapping the right rocks uh, to find the fossils and uh, the protective wear will stop chips and bits flying into your eye. A lot of the time, just take a little chip off the rock. You don't have to knock things into the next century with your hammer. And uh, I know the way the rock splits, so I did a bit of uh, careful tapping to cleave that rock with the wood in, and then that lovely little ammonite came out that uh, I'll prepare really carefully. So I have that ammonite washed up against the fossil wood, which is a nice find as well. And then I've got my bag here. Uh, it's um. Uh, sort of uh, reasonably cushioned bag, uh, a nice cushion against your back, stops uh, the rocks if you find some bigger rocks jutting into your back and uh, that's all part of fossil hunting is to have either a uh, metal frame rucksack that's a good brace against your back or uh, a nice soft cushion on your back as you uh, go along and uh, also too I've got the peak cap that stops glare and you want to stop uh, the glare in your eyes and that will stop you walking along and finding the fossils um, glinting away at you. That's what you want to see is the pirate ammonites glinting away at you. Just that sort of very small sign that gives the game away there might be something there and uh, obviously keep the glare off your eyes when it's a sunny day. It's gone quite overcast now as I look around but uh, I'm going to uh, head back along the beach and uh, see if I can point you out in the direction of some nice fossil bearing rocks as I go. Really lovely free beaches today at the end of January, the last day of January. Tomorrow is February and uh, I'm here and on the beach you can see a bit of a, a topstone uh, nodule there. They've tapped all the edges. I'm gonna take that back and uh, tap the rest of it. There should still be one of the little ammonites there in the rock, one of the pro Microcerus fossils from the Jurassic age. It's a lovely day, just a few dog walkers out. That's about it at the moment. Thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like these videos when we're out and about fossil collecting at Lyme Regis. Thank you.